and welcome to the Girly Guide to Disney. As the title suggests, this is a massive haul. So if I was you, I'd go and get some snacks, drinks, etc. because this is going to take a long time. Now, the majority of this stuff is Disney, but there is little bits from Universal, from Los Angeles, and from the Dodgers baseball team. So there's a lot of stuff to get through. So we went to Los Angeles for two weeks which was absolutely amazing. We went to Disneyland, we went to Universal, we saw some of the sites such as the Chinese Theatre and it was such a lovely, lovely, lovely time. Um, I think for me the highlight was Disneyland because I'm a huge Disney World fan so to go to the original was amazing and they have some really like unique rides that you don't have in Disney World so I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to get started, it's not going to be in any particular order, I'm just going to grab because I've got a massive pile. I've not put things into carrier bags because that would take far too long, but my guess is that there would be at least seven or eight big Disney bags full of them. Okay, so I'm just going to get started because that's what we're all here for. So the first thing I got was this, which is a press coin collection. We are such big nerds, like we love doing the press coins, like Disney World last year we did, we filled two of these. Now we didn't fill these this year, but I think that was because we were only here for five days and we didn't want to focus on doing the press coins over like the attractions and stuff. But we made quite a good effort. So this side is from the Disneyland Park. This side is from California Adventure. We didn't do very well with California Adventure in terms of coins. And then these ones are the quarter press and we got five of those. So yeah, I love this. It's like such a little cheap thing to do. Each one is two quarters and you press a cent, so 51 cents in total. Um, this little folder was $13 and it's really cute because it's got the Sleeping Beauty's Castle, Mickey and Minnie, it's got the, oh what's this called, the friendship wheel, I think that's what it's being called now, that it's Pixar Pier, it's got when the two parts were open, so Disneyland was 17th of July 1955 and California which is the 8th of February 2001 and I just love that it's got like little stickers with things such as New Orleans and Main Street USA, so just like the main kind of sites that you'll see in Disneyland. So this is a really nice little bit of memorabilia that we'll keep forever. Okay, the next thing that I got was these crispy treats. I know that you can get these in Disney World, but I love them. Although it was really weird this year because when we go to Disney World, we have the dining plan. So like, you're always like, oh my gosh, I've got so many snacks to buy. Um, and it's all free, so you're like trying to buy as many as possible. Whereas this year, like we had to buy them. So it was like, we had to really think what snacks we actually wanted. But last year I absolutely loved this BBA one. So it's got white chocolate on the top. It's got these crispy treats and it's like an orangey colour. I don't know if the crispy treats are orange or it's just like dye or I don't know. But these are really, really tasty. And the other crispy treat I brought was this basic mini one. It's got chocolate and sprinkles and they are just so tasty. Like no crispy treats in the UK taste like this. So I had to pick these up. Okay, the next thing I got was these uh, Zum Zum, Zoom Zooms, however you pronounce it. Um, we got this Monsters University mic one. He's got his little hat on and his little jacket. And I just love it. It's so cute. Um, we got Randall. I love Randall in his little nerdy glasses. And he's just so cute. Um, Oh no, what's his name? I've forgotten this one's name, sorry. I'll see if I can remember. But yeah, we got him. He's really soft and fluffy and I love him. And then finally we got Sully in his little jacket and I just think it's so cute. So we just, these were all we got this year. Like last year we got loads of Zoom zooms, zoom zooms, whatever. But this year we were quite restrained on them. Okay, the next thing I got was this popcorn bucket. This one is Sully. This was for Pixar Fest on the Lanyard, 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 it's got Monsters Inc on it. Um, it's absolutely huge. I was so shocked with how much popcorn it got. Like we didn't eat all of it. So it comes in the back and they leave it like open with popcorn so you get quite a bit. Um, it's really big. So it was quite hard to bring back. Um, it can be connected to a Mike Rosowski 
uh, sipper cup and we tried everywhere to get this but we left it till the last night and then everywhere was closed so in the end we didn't get the matching one but this was the main one I wanted the silly one so yeah it's a nice bit of Pixar vest um, memorabilia okay the next thing I got goes really well with these ears and that is this mini she came out on the day I got it which was really cool because these I got on the day they came out um, like there was that whole rose gold thing where nobody could get them but I like spotted these on the first day they were in parks and she was on the first day so it must be something about rose gold but I, it was one of those things I'd not planned to buy and I just saw it and I was like I need that I need it in my life and I just love her little rose gold outfit so it's got a little dress got a little like cor corset I can't remember think what the word is corsage or something but she's got a little flower arm little rose gold shoes I love the bow headband so yeah and then it's got like this kind of lace trimming on the end she's just so cute and I love her so yeah that was like an instant I need that in my life bye right look what else have I got in this massive pile of stuff Okay, these were something that James brought for his parents. These are just some simple chocolates, kind of like Thornton style if you live in the UK. Um, and they've got Mickey's on and you get quite a few chocolates in them, which are really nice. So yeah, these are really, really cute. Although there's a lot that I can't eat, so they've got things like peanut cluster, which would kill me. But yeah, these are a nice little gift from Disneyland. Right. The next thing we got was this little blanket. Um, it's an Americana reversible throw. We love like snuggling up of an evening and watching a film and having some pizza. And we just love this. It was this Americana themed um, blanket basically. So it's nice and snuggly. It's so soft and it will keep us really nice and warm in the winter months. So. Sorry, I've not talked about prices, so uh, no, now it's been a while, I'm not going to, but that was $40. Um, I'll try and remember some of the prices if I can. Next thing I got was this baby Groot. Well, it's a dog Groot, but I'll call it baby Groot. I love Groot, he's so funny. He's my favourite character in the films, so I just had to pick him up. He came in a plastic zip bag, but because we'd brought so much rubbish, like, the, river, the bag had to go because there just wasn't room but he was just so cute he was $22 I believe um, but yeah I love the detailing on him and the leaves and yeah he's cute okay the next thing this one wasn't a purchase this was a prize we played on the games in Pixar Pier and James won this one which I was very impressed with and I was like, that is such a good prize. Um, this one was like a racing horse one, so you had to keep throwing the ball and like there was different types of run the horse would do and it was the first to the finish line. So James won this and we, I was so happy with it and I love how he walk. You can get his legs to go like, I can't even do it now, but like, so he's walking. Yeah, I can't do it, but it's really cool. It's a nice thing to remember of playing the games. Okay, the next one is for my mum. She absolutely loves It's a Small World. This is a It's a Small World picture book that comes with a CD, which I know she's gonna absolutely love. It's just such a cute little story book. And I know she's gonna absolutely adore this. So I'm so happy with this. As soon as I saw it, I was like, my mum's gonna love this. I believe it was $18, I can't quite remember, but if you've got a little one at home or, or a big one who loves It's a Small World, they will absolutely love this. And I got this from the shop outside It's a Small World, so again it's quite a bit of sentimental value because it came from the actual place. Okay, the next thing I got was a spirit jumper jersey, sorry. Um, I went for the rose gold one because I absolutely love rose gold. Uh, it's got Disneyland Resort on the back in like a rose gold sparkle. Um, and it's got the D for Disneyland and established 1955 and it's like this orangey colour which I just think is so nice. It was really nice with my ears. Now it was really hot when we were out there so I didn't actually get to wear this but I know it's something I'm going to wear all the time so yeah. 
and I definitely want to get some next year when we go to Florida but there were so many different choices this was $60 so I mean it was quite expensive but I wanted one I wanted to be really cliche and get one uh, the next thing we got was oh my gosh I can't reach anymore they're all like over there um, this key ring I've got one from Disney World and basically it's got a picture of all the different parks so this one's got um, Californian Adventure I'll try and like show it and it's a small world little charm I'm doing such a bad job of showing you these it's then got oh, I'm just gonna show you the same thing again I'm not sure which one this is I believe that could be Haunted Mansion I'm not quite sure and it's got Sleeping Beauty's Castle and then it's got Disneyland Resort on and then it's just got Mickey and Minnie and I just love this kind of thing like especially like Disneyland because we don't we won't be going here often I wanted stuff that was very symbolic of the parks because obviously in Dis when we go to Disney World we go quite often like I've been seven times so it doesn't necessarily have to represent the park for me whereas this time I was very like centered on having things that symbolize the park okie dokie the next thing I got was these cookies they are just like really tasty biscuits um chocolate and vanilla and the different like mickey shapes you've got on here donald goofy mickey mini they're just really tasty little biscuits um and they're just really tasty so i'm looking forward to having those okay right i'm gonna have to lean over in a minute so i'm gonna stop the video for a second and then i'll be back in two seconds and i'm back okay i should have shown this one first but this is my first ever time to Disneyland, so I got a first time badge, which I've always wanted a badge for like our holiday and like I've never, we've not been celebrating anything or it's not been a birthday, we're not married or engaged or anything like that. So I was so happy that I was able to get a badge and it was so special having my first time badge on and it was like, ah, loved it. So yeah, these are free, you can get these from guest services and I'd highly recommend wearing these because you just get a bit of like an extra special treatment like people will say things like how's your first visit oh my gosh it's your first time how exciting so it just makes you feel a bit special really so this is such a nice thing to pick up then the next thing I brought was this taffy I think this probably caused a bit of a suitcase problem for us I've just thought about it because we had to readjust our suitcases this year because I was well over we had to quickly move things into James's suitcase but I love taffy like I remember like always getting it when friends had gone to Florida and I've not had it for a few years so I was like right I need some top some taffy and it's basically salt water I believe sweets and they are just gorgeous and it comes in this little container this little box and you get 1.25 pounds this wasn't too bad actually I believe it was ten dollars which I think is pretty good for all of this they do it in a goofy bag but I just quite like that this had got um the pictures on I mean it's they definitely do it in Disney World in the same packaging so it's got Epcot and Studios and Animal Kingdom so it's obviously like a universal one but I just thought this was a little bit nicer than the Goofy Treats ones so I'm looking forward to tucking into these this was kind of one, one of my incentives for filming this really quickly because I was like I want to get stuck into all these treats mm. yeah we only landed yesterday I think my body clock's really out of whack because Disneyland is eight hours behind us so we're, we're struggling with the timing like our bodies are like really confused as to what time it is but yeah I'm looking forward to talking into those treats um the next thing I got was this jigsaw I'm such a nerd like I was so excited by this jigsaw the jigsaw is a map of Disneyland Park and I just loved it like I spotted these quite a few times and I've always been like mm, it's kind of something I want but it's not high on my list but I saw it's only $13 for this for a thousand piece and this was the jigsaw I wanted over the other ones anyway so I was like I'm gonna have to get this it's so nice and I could take it in hand luggage so it didn't like take up any weight but 
oh, I just love it. It's so cool and I'm looking forward to doing this before we go back to school slash work for me. I'm a teacher, so. Um, but yeah, this is definitely going to be one of my things I'm going to do. I'm just so looking forward to it. I haven't done a jigsaw in literally like years. I think the last time I did, did one was when we were in a cottage in Cornwall when I was about 14. So that's the last time. So I am looking forward to getting my nerd on and doing this. It's going to be so fun. Okay. You can't go on holiday without one of these. Without dropping it apparently. And this is the photo album. Both in Disney World and Disneyland. The big thing at the moment is this compass theme. And this was a brownie colour and I've never really gone for brown but I really like this I think this looks really classic like I got the blue a blue one in this kind of similar theme last year from Disney and I really really loved it so the compass on it has got uh, Sleeping Beauty I know what that thing on the key ring was it's Carthai Circle Carthai Carthai Circle which is a really special like expensive restaurant in California Adventure. It's not Haunted Mansion. Anyway, and it's got Carthay Circle, um, and it's got the wheel, and it's got the Matterhorn. Now, we were so sad this year because the Matterhorn was under refurbishment, and it was one of those rides that's really unique and different to anything that's in Disney World. But it just gave us another reason to visit again so you know i'm not sad but yeah i love a good photo album i think there's so special way of having memories you can flick through it when you're having a bit of a rubbish day like i've got loads of them now because when i was a teenager and through my sort of earlier 20s everything was just up on facebook and that was how i kept my photos but to have like hard prints of things i really really love and like for my emotional well-being it's so useful so i got this i only got one this year because we were only there for um five days and we didn't take as many photos of things around so i just i only got one i might get another like general L la one off the internet somewhere but yeah i love this i think it comes with a pen i do love a good free pen I'm not quite sure now whether this does come with a pen. Yeah, I'll be ordering those photos really soon and putting them in. Okay, let's pop that. Oh, this pile's getting big. It's going to start to like, start to be able to see this pile. Okay, next thing I got was these. My other half absolutely loves Timon. He's his favourite character in the whole wide world. And he, we saw these sweets. Now these sweets were like $6. And he was like, that's ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to spend those. But I treated him to them. Because I was like, you know, it's your favourite. You know, it's $6 at the end of the day. We're on holiday, it's fine. Um, and they're just gummy insects. So you can pretend to be Timon and eating insects. Yum. Okay, the next thing that we purchased was this. Another favourite of my other half is Donald Duck. He loves him. We have a lot of like, we can see some of our like Disney stuff on this shelf. But on our TV we have a lot of like toys like this and a lot of the pop ones. But this isn't a pop, but it's a similar kind of thing. And it's like a classic... Disney um, went in his little sailor outfit his feet move as you can see I'm like uh, he's got a little flag which is so cute and he can wave it yeah and he's just really cute so I bought him this because I knew it was his favorite okay the next thing I got these are not for me I didn't buy myself any ears this year I just didn't really fancy them we we're only there for five days I wore these one day but I really like struggle with them being so pressurized on my head like they're so like tight so I only do it for like a day and then I'm like nah nah I'm done now so I got these for my sister these are uh, these white iridescent bow ones which are so cute I love them uh, they're sparkly and actually the headband on these is so less tighter and it's they're far more comfortable they've got a lot more 
I don't know if it's a local thing to say, but like it, it's got a lot more give. Like they're quite stretchy and I just feel like these are going to be so comfortable. But yeah, I got her these because they're just adorable and she spotted them on the internet. She's like, can you get me these? I was like, yep, sorted. So yeah, these are those. I think I might end up buying myself some of these for next year. <laughs> don't know why I'm trying to double ear. Ow. Oh my gosh, ignore my hair. <laughs> the ears are hiding messy hair, clearly. So they're what they look like. Yeah, they're kind of cute. I did quite fancy the um, changing bow ones, but I just didn't really get around to it until it was a bit late. And the bows are really huge, and I don't know how I feel about them yet. So I'm like, I can wait till next year and then decide. Especially if like a nicer bow comes out. So the next thing is this coffee mug. This is James's, but I thought I'd show it because why not? It's got loads of like, kind of like stamps from all the different attractions. So it's got things like Paradise Pier. So it is kind of an old one because Pixar Pier became Paradise. No, Paradise Pier became Pixar Pier. Uh, it's got things like Cars Land. I believe this is a multi park with Disney World and Disneyland. It's got things like Epcot Center, um, Animal Kingdom. But he loves having a coffee in the morning at work. And he's been using this old mug that's gone a bit tatty now. So I think he was out. And with him being a teacher, he was like, this is going to be safer. So, I mean, it's a win-win situation. This was 22 99 And I just think it's really nice. And it's a nice bit of kind of more subtler Disney. Like, I'm very, like, I will wear, like, garish, gore like, bright Disney in your face. Whereas he's, he's more of, like, subtle bit more subtle Disney but I'm like woo the more Disney the merrier I'm such a geek okay the next thing I got was a fridge magnet I love magnets um it, this just says Disneyland 1955 this one was purple I think it was ten dollars I can't remember the color coding but yeah I just I just thought this was really nice very classic and it'll be, look really nice in our fridge which is basically just again a another Disney shrine it's got loads of Disney magnets on but I love it okay we are getting to the end of the Disney section nearly nearly still got quite a few okay the next thing we have got is some tree decorations I was like I couldn't decide which to go there and I was like oh too much choice okay I'm gonna have to open these should probably have done that off camera but now yeah I've talked through it so James brought for his mum this kind of um kind of this tree deck that has got classic mickey and minnie they've got a little bag full of stuff including a donald toy and they're on this little sleigh and it's so cute so i am very much looking forward to giving his mum this i think she'll really love it that like she likes things that are a bit less in your face so this is like more of a classic decoration this was 25 dollars and it's just really nice Okay, the next tree decoration we got for ourselves. We try and buy ourselves a Christmas decoration every year, although we did forget last year in Disneyland Paris. And I'm still like, oh, I didn't get one. I feel really sad about it, so I need to sort that out. Um, so the decoration we got for ourselves was this one, and it says Disneyland on it. It's got Mickey and Minnie with some presents. I just thought this was really like a throwback to kind of the classic. So it's when it was just the Disneyland Hotel. And yeah, I, I really, really love this. I just think it's very symbolic of the whole park. So yeah, love this. Right, I'm going to put this back in the wrapping because I know I'm like, I'm really clumsy and I will break this. Like, really break it. I don't know how you can really break it. But yeah, I will very much break that okay the next thing I have got is these which are cushions how exciting we got these as part of our phantasmic package basically if you want to watch phantasmic at Disneyland it's around the lake near Splash Mountain so you do actually have to stand to watch it but because we were on the Blue Bayou dining package, we were in an area where you could sit down, which was really nice. Um, and we got these little like cushions just to sit on. 
not wouldn't use these in like normal life but i love the little like symbols and things that you've got for the show it was a really really good show like i was dead like dead impressed with it it was very different to phantasmic in hollywood studios and i do think i prefer hollywood studios however this was really good and there were certain elements that i thought were fantastic but yeah we both got one of these as part of our package deal i don't know what we're gonna do with these but you know we had to bring them back okay oh my gosh this pile is getting huge okay the next thing i got was this which is a snow globe now i have been fancying a snow globe for ages and there was a really big snow globe that i fancied for disneyland but i just thought with the weight limitations i just wouldn't be able to get it back and i'm really glad i did because um yeah we were well over the limit um but this has got disneyland resort 2018 it's got mickey mini and if you shake it up it's got all these like sparkly things i don't know if it's really showing on camera but i just really like this and it's such a nice bit of memorabilia it was 20 dollars, and i really love it so yeah and i'm gonna use it all all the times of the year it's not just gonna be a christmas one okay uh, right I believe that is all the Disney that I'm going to show you up here. What I'm going to do now is there are a few things that I'm going to show in a box because it's easier to kind of get them to show. Um, obviously I don't have the highest quality camera so it takes a while to focus on my camera so it's easier to do it in a box and I don't have the stablest of hands which again makes it take longer to stabilize so i'm just going to show you the two pandoras i got the alex and arnie and the pins just to note about the pins we aren't pin people we weren't until this holiday we've just had a look for the last three holidays we've been on we got 15 that's in total this year i got 30. it became a problem i got into the mystery pin packs which I loved I did my first pin trade which I was so excited by like we went to quite a few like I wasn't confident to like pin trade with like a lanyard but so I just did it on the boards but like we kept going to them and I was like mm, none of them are kind of worth trading I'm not too fussed and then we came out of uh, Big Thunder Mountain and I saw one I was like that's the one I want to trade so I shall show you all of the pins that I have purchased okay so this year we got quite into mystery pin packs which was quite an expensive problem for us so this is the first one i purchased this one was 28 dollars you got um 16 designs that you could get and you got five in a pack which was really really good value and i think that was kind of what started the issue i also got some of these which come in a box we did get a monsters ink one but i have no idea where that's gone um so this one was disney street so it had the characters on and you got two and these were 15 dollars each then we got this one which is adventures out there and these come in like a hot air balloon and i love these and yeah but i don't have the box anymore oh and then after buying those two we then got these fantasy land football and we got another pack of these so this is where it suddenly became a big issue and again these were 28 dollars and you got five so these were really really cool okay so they're the packets so the first one i got was this one it's this dude from monsters university love him i got him in a zum zum i really can't remember his name which is really annoying me but he's so cute he makes me laugh so i was dead pleased to get him when he came out of the box the other Monsters University one we got, we traded, and this is my one and only trade, and I was so happy after trading it. Um, it was this Disneyland Resort one, Mickey and Minnie, and I was really happy with this because it was unique again to Disneyland, and I was so, so happy to get that. So, yeah, that's what that one looks like. Okay, the one I got from the Hot Air Balloon set was this Rapunzel one. I really love Rapunzel. Um... So I really like this. I really like the glittery bit of the sun. So yeah, that's what she looks like. And the detailing on them is amazing. This one is Simba. I love this like um, patterning on it. 
I can't think what it's called, the patterning. Oh dear, I'm not very good with this. But again, the detailing is amazing and I was so happy when I got that one. Okay, so this one is the Bell Hops. I love, I love Hollywood Tower Hotel. Um, it's not called Hollywood Tower in Disneyland. It's called Guardians of the Galaxy one. But again, I love this ride, so I was really happy to pull that out. Next one I got was the Small World Sailors. We love It's a Small World. It's so like childish and geeky, but we absolutely love it. And I love this pin, it's gorgeous. Then I got Pluto Avenue from the Disney Streets. Love Pluto, he's cool. Then I got Buzz Lightyear. I love both Toy Story rides, so I was really pleased to get that one. And again, the detailing is really, really good. Got Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I love this detail and I like the two halves of it. It's really, really good. Then we got the Caribbean Cannonballs. So they're all kind of like football teamy. And um, we love Pirates of the Caribbean. It's one of the best rides. And like, yeah, it was really good. And the one in California was amazing. So yeah, that's that one. We got the Matterhorn Sn Abominable Snowman. We didn't get to go on Matterhorn, but I'm still really happy to get this because it is unique to the park. And I think it's such a nice looking pin. We got the Phantasmic Dragons. I love Maleficent. I love this pin. I love the colouring. So I was really, really happy to get that one. Then we got... Oh, I'm throwing pins all over the place now. Dale Boulevard. Which is dead cute. Definitely keeping that one. To be honest, I'm keeping most of them. We got the Maleficent one again in this like green and purpley colour. This was really, really cool. I really like that. Then this one's probably the only one I'm tempted to trade next year, which is like the Jingles. I think this is from the Fantasy Fo Fantasyland Football. I'm not a massive fan of the carousel, so it doesn't really hold any sentimental value. So I think I could pick something else up that I would prefer. The next one I got was World of Colour Spectrum. We didn't get to see World of Colour, unfortunately, because it wasn't open there was a delay on it, but I think I'll definitely keep this because it's got the World of Colour, um, it's got the Mickey's Friendship Wheel or whatever it's called, I really can't remember, and it's such a colourful pin, so I think it's a really nice thing. The next thing we got was the Space Mountain Blast, again I really like this, I love Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris and Disney World and Disneyland California, this is one of my favourite, favourite rides. And the colouring and detailing in this pin is amazing. So I'm really happy with that. The next mystery pin I got was the Neverland Galleons. Love Peter Pan. It's a very traditional ride. And because it was one that Walt created, this is really special. So I was really happy to get this pin. Next pin I got was the Jungle Cruise Headhunters. I actually love the Jungle Cruise. It always makes me laugh. It's so funny. So I was really pleased to get that one. So this final pin was from the Indiana Jones ride. I've just had to ask Jones what it was because I just had a total brain moment. Um, and this says the Forbidden Eye Temples, which is really, really cool. This one I brought for Jones. We decided in the park that we were going to treat each other to a mystery pin. We were going to buy each other a pin. And I treated him to this one because he always seems to pick this one up in the shop. And so it's a stormtrooper with pew pew which was really cool. Um, he brought me this one, which says I conquered Splash Mountain. He knows that Splash Mountain is my absolute favorite ride in the whole of Disney, in all of the Disney parks. So I was so happy to get that one. It's just such a good I like the good fact ride. it says, and bravely got wet. I conquered Splash Mountain and bravely got wet. It's such a cute ride and it has such sentimental value to me. So I was really happy with that. One is my Mickey Mouseketeer badge. I saw this and like I really found it cute. I like the origins of this and the story behind it. So I was definitely up for that. This one is the LA Dodgers Mickey Mouse pin. I did get this in Disney. So it wasn't brought with my Dodgers stuff. But it was the first baseball game I'd ever seen. And I just thought it was a nice sort of crossover with the Disney trip. 
Okay, the next one I got was this Disneyland pin. I wanted something that was symbolic. They didn't really have lots of pins that showed like Californian Adventure or Disneyland, but I spotted this and I thought this was like very retro and classic. And I thought this was a really nice way to remember the park. The next pin I got was this Pixar Pier. This one I wanted because Pixar Pier opened while we were out there and I really enjoyed the whole Pixar Fest and I like that it's got Lotso's ball on it and yeah, I just love the colouring on it. Okay, I always like to get a pin with the date on because clearly I'm going to forget um, and this is just like a spinny one. It says 2018 and it's just spin, spin, spin because I'm such a nerd um, and I really like this. I can't see what it says on the back the year to be here ah the year to be here so i really like it it's cute and i'm probably not gonna spend the whole day spinning it okay i watched the film tomorrowland and i've always wanted to get the pin in tomorrowland in disneyland where the film is set so i was happy to get that one the final pin is not a disney one but it's the only pins i got out of disney so i thought i would show these so these are from universal studios hollywood Again, I thought these were really good symbol sim bleh, that these were very symbolic of the parks. It's got things like the studio tour, which is my favourite part of the park. It's got the universal symbol on the film and the main entrance gate. So yeah, and these were fifteen dollars. And then the next one pin is not for me, but James bought this for his cousin and I thought these are really cute, so I thought I'd show you them. These are a limited edition 25th anniversary Jurassic Park pins. And these are were $17. So yeah, they were really cute. The next thing I got was this Alex and Arnie bracelet. Well, it's technically two. I had wanted to get a Disneyland bracelet and a California Adventure, but as you can see, this is like a shiny gold, and my other Alex and Arnie is a shiny gold, whereas they were kind of like more of like a matte gold. So I wasn't really a fan of them, so I went for this instead. And I thought this is very me. And it says, never grow up, which I certainly don't. I'm such a Disney nerd, so, you know, I don't think you're grown up if you're a Disney nerd. It's got the boat on, which again, very symbolic. Walt created that Disney, the um, Peter Pan ride, and it's very... I just think this is very reflective of the trip, and I've just bashed it. Great job, Lizzie. Oh, my hands are so dirty from I don't know what. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are really cute. This was $80, but it does come with two bracelets. And yeah, it's really nice. So we've got the California Adventure Disney Wheel and the Sleeping Beauty Castle. And I shall be putting those on my Pandora, which is mostly Disney stuff. But yeah, I just thought these were really nice, reflective of the two trips. Two trips, two parks. So yeah really love those something we did in disney that wasn't in the parks was we did this experience called the void and it is a vr experience and it's like um you can feel stuff and you actually feel like you're there and it's amazing and it's themed on star wars so we did that twice actually because it was so good um like oh it's just amazing like it's really hard to explain how good it is without sort of spoiling it for people so i would definitely recommend doing it so this was our photo this was 15 dollars for the photo which is a lot of money but it was a really nice bit of memorabilia for the trip so it says star wars secrets of the empire and then it's got a picture for part of what it's like which is really good so you get to be a stormtrooper so yeah highly recommend doing that it was such a, such a good experience okay so that is everything in terms of disney so i'm going to move on now to universal we hardly picked anything up we just there wasn't loads of merchandise like disney i can spend loads and there were so many things i could have brought extra but universal there wasn't quite as much stuff so a lot of it we got in harry potter world so something i brought for myself was these Fizz, fizzy Wizzy sweets from Honey Dukes. They are just some little like candy things, and it comes in this nice little pink tin which I can keep. Um, yeah, I can't remember. These were ten dollars, which is not too bad for some sweets. And to be honest, I mostly got it for the tin and to buy something from Honey Dukes. Okay, the next thing we got from Universal 
was these Jurassic Bar, Jurassic Bar, Jurassic Park chocolate bars. These were three for ten dollars, I believe. Um, they're milk chocolate and candy bones, and they were just a bit of naff that we fancied. Um, so yeah, these were really cool. Um, yeah, we really liked the Jurassic Park ride, although we did get absolutely soaked. Like even though it was like thirty-five degrees, we were still like soaked for a good hour. So yeah, but yeah, we really enjoyed that ride. The next thing is mostly now um, Harry Potter stuff that we brought as gifts, but I thought I'd show these. We got these lollipops, these sweet crystals. Uh, these were three dollars, and they were just a nice little gift. James has given these to his cousin, and these were from Honey Dukes. Um, we then got these fizzing wispies for James's sister. I love this little bit on the top. Um, so yeah, these are really cute. We then got these jelly slugs, and it says wriggling, rigging, rig, rill. Oh my gosh, why can I not say this? Rigging, wrigglingly cute. There we go. Um, these are so cute. These were seven dollars, I believe. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And it's such a nice little box, and like his sister really loves Harry Potter, so these were really cute. Um, we then brought these. Honey Dukes milk chocolate bars, like they're really thin, like they're not, Ooh, now I'm breaking them, I don't know if these are even 100 grams, but yeah, they were just, they were more for the Honey Dukes kind of label, and they were just really nice, so we thought, why not, so these are really nice, okay, we are getting close to the end now, so that was everything from Universal. Something we got to do this holiday which was really fun was we went to see the Dodgers. They played the San Francisco Giants I believe and we had a really really fun time. It's really good like for me I don't understand sport but I love like American sports because I like the atmosphere like I had a hot dog which was amazing because like you would see it on films and like people go to the baseball and they have a hot dog so uh, ticked that box for a life experience so as a memorabilia I brought myself a Dodgers baseball this was like eight dollars so it was really cheap but it was just a nice bit of something to have and have brought from the baseball park um, the next thing we got was <laughs> this little hat this had some ice cream in it so James had like a big bowl of chocolate ice cream and it came in a little baseball hat which is so cute so we've mainly got it for the cap but you can get loads of things in hats and things like we saw somebody with nachos with a big baseball hat it was really cool and um, we also brought a souvenir cup because I mean we know how I feel about souvenir cups Um so this has just got the Dodgers on uh, it's the Los Angeles and um, it's coca-cola and it's just got a player on it so we got two and then I accidentally brought another one because I misheard the lady so I just wanted a normal cup but you know the cups so there'll always be of use so this was really nice we also brought hats each um so James brought this one which has got like purple LA on it um and it's black and then I went really like sophisticated and I got this one, I love the pink, and such a girly girl, so, you know, it works quite well. It's got LA on, it's got the baseball on, I never know if it's cool to keep it on or off, so I've kept it on. If it's not cool, I'll take it off, but you know. It's got this uh, velcro -y thing on the back, which is great for me because my head is tiny. Um, I can never fit into, like, adult hats or sunglasses, so this is really good for me. So it's a nice bit, and I loved wearing it at the park, I felt very much like I fitted in, and it was an awesome... Okay, okay, right, the final, I've got two more things to show, so we're finally at the end. Um, and, oh no, three, I'm lying, three more things. So, this one was from Target. We brought these and then we loved them, so we brought back a packet to have at home. These are goldfish, I love these, um, but these are Mickey shaped. So you've got normal goldfish and then the Mickey ones, and they're just like cheddar ones, but you know they're Mickey they're Disney so they had to be brought and they were really tasty so we brought some to come home um next two bits are makeup bits um so I brought the this was my one and only purchase from Sephora normally I treat myself to like a hundred dollars worth of stuff from Sephora but there just wasn't really anything I wanted and I was more focused on getting stuff from Disneyland because we weren't really going to come back again for a while so 
this is the one thing I purchased which was the Anastasia Glow Kit Moon Child. Um, I love highlighter, I'm such a girl, such a geek. I put way too much on, there's some days where I'm like, yeah, I needed to chill out on the uh, highlighter. But this comes with some more like, kind of fairy, cute ones. Um, and it looks like this, let's see if I can get it to show. So it's got blue eyes, which is very, very faint bluey. It's very much like a white one with like, blue specks if that makes sense. This one which is Star which is very light purple. Then it's got this purple horseshoe which is quite intense purple but I like it. Then it's got this blue moon one which to me is more of like a, a pale purple but then Lucky Cover which is like your standard white highlighter and then this pink heart which is like a very faint pink. It's not really showing on camera. These three look like they're all white but they've got different flecks, coloured flecks in them. So yeah, this is what I treated myself to. I'm not going to wear this now until we go to Florida. So this goes into my get ready for Florida box. Yay! Okay, and then this one wasn't even from Los Angeles. This was from Heathrow Airport. But I thought this was such a good deal. So I use these Clinique moisturisers. These are the best moisturisers. I have tried lots of different ones and none are the same quality as this and none of them make my skin feel so refreshed. So I normally buy one of these from Los, not Los Angeles, from America. But these one offer for two for 41 pounds, which was such a good deal. Like normally in stores, they're like 31 pounds. So to get two of the big size was such a good deal. So these, this was like a necessary purchase. So yeah, I believe that is everything that I have purchased. So well done if you're still watching because there was a lot of stuff. We had a really lovely time. Like It was so nice to experience something quite different to Florida, um, but stay in the confines of Disney. And it was lovely. So I would highly recommend going to Disneyland if you're a big Disney fan. And there's a lot to do in Los Angeles outside of Disney. So yeah. It was a really lovely trip. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe down below. And I shall see you all really soon. Bye.